This is an mRNA present in the cytosol of an eukaryotic cell. The mRNA has a 5' prime cap and 3' prime poly A tail. The AUG sequence present in this mRNA is the initiation codon where translation starts. First of all, the free ribosome starts the translation of the mRNA at AUG sequence. After some time, the ribosome synthesizes a nascent polypeptide chain by using the mRNA and other translational components. This nascent polypeptide chain has a signal sequence. This signal sequence appears yearly in the translation because the signal sequence is present at the amino terminus of the nascent polypeptide. As the translation proceeds, the length of the nascent polypeptide chain increases with the emergence of signal sequence. In the cytosol of the cell, SRP complexes are found. SRP stands for signal recognition particle. SRP is a rod-shaped complex. SRP contains 300 nucleotide RNA and 6 different proteins. The 300 nucleotide RNA is called as 7 SLRNA. The combined relative molecular mass or MR of these 6 proteins is 3,25,000. The SRP then binds to both signal sequence and ribosome. The SRP then binds GTP. Due to this binding, polypeptide elongation halts. At that time, the polypeptide is 70 amino acid long and the signal sequence has completely emerged from the ribosome. The GTP bound SRP then directs the ribosome and incomplete polypeptide to GTP bound SRP receptors present in the cytosolic phase of endoplasmic reticulum. On the surface of endoplasmic reticulum, peptide translocation complex is present. The peptide translocation complex interacts directly with ribosome. The nascent polypeptide is then delivered to the peptide translocation complex. The SRP then dissociates from the ribosome and is freed to bind to another ribosome and signal sequence. Along with this dissociation, the bound GTP on both SRP and SRP receptors undergo hydrolysis to produce GDP and PI. The elongation of polypeptide chain then resumes. Along with the resumed polypeptide chain elongation, the peptide translocation complex use ATP to feed the growing polypeptide into the ER lumen until the complete protein has been synthesized. The luminal phase of endoplasmic reticulum has a signal peptidase. This signal peptidase removes the signal sequence from the polypeptide. After this signal sequence removal, the polypeptide is released into the ER lumen. The smaller subunit and larger subunit of ribosome then dissociate from the mRNA and is recycled. As we have previously discussed, the SRP has six different proteins. Out of these six different proteins, one protein subunit binds to signal sequence of nascent polypeptide. This binding sterically inhibits the entry of amino acid tRNAs. This binding also inhibits the peptidyl transferase. These two things inhibit elongation. Another protein subunit out of six different proteins of SRP binds to the GTP. 
the bound GTP then undergoes hydrolysis to produce GDP and PI. The SRP receptor is a heterodimer. The SRP receptor contains one alpha subunit and one beta subunit. The relative molecular mass or molecular weight of alpha subunit is 69,000. The relative molecular mass of beta subunit is 30,000. The alpha subunit binds to multiple GTPs. The GTPs then undergo hydrolysis to produce GDPs and PIs. Like alpha subunit, the beta subunit also binds to multiple GTPs. The GTPs then undergo hydrolysis to produce GDPs and PIs. Please like, subscribe and share.